Hey guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book review and today I'm going to be talking about My True Love Gave to Me. This is a Christmas romance anthology and it contains 12 Christmassy holiday romance short stories written by a ton of authors and edited by Stephanie Perkins. I just read this like mm, a couple days ago. I finished it and I thought it was time to do a review and talk about it because I did want to read it for her obviously December and to get ready for the Christmas time. And yeah, I have some things to say about it so let's get right into the review. First off, since I've never reviewed like a short story collection or any type of thing like that, it's pretty new for me so if I'm not making sense, which I usually don't make sense, but that's not the point. Um, Moving on, I noticed that a lot of the stories that people absolutely love were the ones that I didn't like as much, but other than that, um, it was a okay bind up. Like, I mean, it's perfect if you want to get into that holiday mood and if you want to have some little cute romances that are all like pretty different. But other than that, there's not really anything too special about it. Like, I mean, some some of them I love, but some of them just didn't have enough explanation. I feel like they were way too short. Like, um, I just think there could have been so much more to this than perfect for getting into that Christmas mood, especially because there's all different types of things in here. And there's also, like, more ones centered around New Year's. There's a couple that took place on New Year's Eve, so giving you guys the plot and of everything of every single story plus these are short stories like I can't give you the plot it's gonna take away from everything but the first story we had was Midnights by Rainbow Rowell this one was actually one of my least favorites I don't know what it was it was just like I do know what it was I put um it wasn't it wasn't memorable for me at all I had trouble like distinguishing the characters it could have been a lot better than it was and I ended up giving that one a three out of five the first one so off to a really iffy start for me then the next one kind of picked it up for me it was the lady in the fox by kelly link and i've never read anything by kelly link like I, I didn't know who she was or anything before picking this up but i really enjoyed her story it um i thought the the story and the characters are really good it was a fun read and i really liked the concept but i just think it could have the concept could have been more talked about like they could have expanded more and there was like it kind of had this concept to it that you needed like a good bit of explanation like you needed a good chunk of explanation and that's we didn't have that but I gave it a 3.75 out of 5 and it's definitely the one like if I think about this I think about that one first so it's like the most memorable story for me and the next one was the angels in the snow by Matt de la Pena. I'm not sure I have never read anything by him either but I really liked his story it was um had like a lot like deeper messages than the other ones did at this point and I really loved the cat like there was this cat and the guy's name was shy and it was just really different from the other two and it was really enjoyable the only con was I found some moments pretty cheesy and kind of cringeworthy but I gave it a 3.5 so I don't have read one I was like really surprised by it, and that is um <clears throat> the four story by jenny han and that is polar is is where you'll find me and i thought the story was cute i really liked the concept the writing was nice and i gave it a four to five there's but it was just there was a really nice concept to this it's called it's yule tide miracle charlie brown by stephanie perkins i'm not sure if that's how you say it okay i love this one <laughs> But I didn't like her story at first but no I really liked it actually I, I thought it was so cute I loved the guy Nate and the concept with the tree um again I found some bits cheesy but I gave it a four to five it was the sixth story was your temporary Sam by David Levithan and this one I really liked it was the only one that kind of had um a gay boy lovey relationship and I love David Levithan's writing like I've only read this short story and part of Will Grayson Will Grayson but like I really like how he writes and this story was like really cute and nice and refreshing and the couple was really nice and I just really liked the concept and everything was so cute and I gave it a 3.75 to a 4 out of 5. The seventh story was by Holly Black and it was like Krampus leaf i have no idea anyways i didn't really like this one i did think it was very different and had like a really different type of tone than the other ones did and i just but i just um didn't think it was the best it was kind of messy and it was kind of confusing like i was like wait what but i gave it 3.25 out of 5 so yeah oh this one i really liked it was gail Foreman's. it was what 
what the hell have you done sophie raw and and this one was like really diverse with like race and religion like it had like that really nice aspect to it and there was like this aspect of like with ned flanders from like the simpsons and that just like really made me smile because i'm a big fan of the simpsons and everything and it was just really cute and simple story and i gave it a four to five the ninth story was by Myra McIntyre, and it was Beer Buckets and Baby Jesus. I, just, I didn't even make any comments on this one. Like, throughout it, I was kind of, like, getting sticky notes and, like, putting in my thoughts. Like, this one, I just put the rating, but the other ones, I was, like, writing down what I liked about it, like, as I finished it, so it was fresh in my mind and everything. And I gave this one a 3.25, probably a reason why I didn't like it, but, yeah. Next one was by Kirsten White and it was welcome to christmas ca and i thought it was cute it had a nice vibe to it it had some nice themes but it could have been better so i gave it a 3.5 the next story was star of bethlehem by ali carter and i gave this one a 3.25 out of five it was just really meh to me it was just meh you know what i'm saying it was just meh and the last one was The Girl Who Woke the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And that one I just didn't like. Um, honestly, I just skim read the rest of it because I just wasn't into it. And the writing was good, but by the end of this, I was just so done. I was like, I'm, I don't want to read. And I tried reading it and the beginning was so slow. And it's just like, you know what? Skim. But I really did think this was nice to get into the holiday spirit. It's not the best Christmas anthology I've ever read. Like, I read Let It Snow by John Greenberg and Jocelyn and Lauren Michael, like, last year, last year. No, not last year. In January, I read it. Well, almost last year. And I really enjoyed it when I read it. I think I'm going to reread it again. I might film a review for it if I reread it. Hopefully, I can reread it. I don't usually reread books, but that's not the point. Um, it was okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. But my favorite stories were definitely from... Uh, Matt De La Penne, Dale, Gail Foreman, Jenny Han, David Levithan, Kelly Lynx, and um, Stephanie Perkins. So, yeah, those were some of my favorites. But, yeah. So, yeah, those were some of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was a bit different for me to film and everything. So, I hope it was okay. Sorry if those bookshelves or have a lack of books is that this shelf is like t like pretty tall decently tall so all my books are like really high up and then there's not enough to fit those ones so it's just blank but at least you got a tree you got a tree so where is it here yeah you got a tree here yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this review i do hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts down below and what you thought of them definitely the one that sticks out most in my mind was um kelly lynx the fox one sticks out most and the tree one which i think was by stephanie parkins so those stick out to me most i yeah but i'll see you guys soon with a new video bye